there's m a lot of data to suggest that inflammation is important in cancer, breast cancer progression. And so what we did was we took uh, more than 2,600 women with breast cancer and we randomly allocated them to celecoxib, which is a um, inf COX-2 inhibitor uh, versus placebo. And they took a moderate dose of celecoxib for two years <coughs> after their adjuvant radiotherapy and chemotherapy if they had any. So that meant that they were taking the celecoxib along with anti-hormonal treatment. And we followed these women up and um, to date about 20% have had some form of relapse. Um, and it turns out that overall there is no benefit whatsoever of taking celecoxib. But <coughs> two quite interesting features emerge with regard to the side effects. First of all, we were expecting cardiac and stroke events in the treated population, but we didn't see any toxicity of any sort that was significant, apart from a very slight increase and, and I think one or two percent of patients, a little bit of shortness of breath, but no cardiac problems. Um, but what we did see was uh, an improvement in the patients who have arthralgia. And so arthralgia and arthritis are common accompaniments of endocrine therapy for breast cancer. And so that was a positive side. The second positive thing that came out of this trial was that in the subgroup of 660 patients who did not receive chemotherapy, so they just had anti-hormonal treatment, there was a suggestion of a disease-free survival benefit. So it looks as if celecoxib could help prevent relapse in women who don't have chemotherapy. So if they have it along with endocrine therapy, so it could not only help with their side effects of endocrine therapy, but it could also be of some help potentially with preventing the disease from coming back. So this was only a subgroup analysis. So it's, it's not possible at the moment until a prospective study has been done to be certain that this is a true effect.